basically we're going to be discussing arcane type slash magic type like the the what if if it was brought to to pokemon so um <laughs> ghostfish has like a whole like he's thought about this much more than me so i'll, I'll let him like start us off and then we can get into the discussion yeah i mean if you can see it i can see it uh, everything good yeah i can see it all right well um well this is cool obviously i spent too much time on thinking slides and uh, i got this from apparently someone made a pokemon type of thing for school at physicaleducator.com like right there and something like that. and uh basically just using it for this presentation so the arcane pipe what i think of it is like the pure essence of magic itself because like while things can inherently be magical there is only there's only the source to it all so i'm thinking it's possible for uh, arcane to be its own pipe hmm. so because of that i made sure it doesn't interact with any regular element and uh, you can see the affinities that are on this down here and basically most arcane pipes are focused around uh setup and just special effect that's about it i think they can uh definitely take the time to support this thing and i do have a list on my left as you can see all the slides here a bunch of pokemon i think that could be arcane type along with what affinities don't gain okay so uh, the first one i have here is Sigilus. uh i do believe that Sigilus should be an arcane type because yeah, uh, ancient I don't like death will be a psychic in any way. But I think so, when I think a psychic, I think like an actual psychic. Right. Okay. And so, so certain Pokemon makes sense. Like the entire Alakazam line, that that makes sense for a psychic type. But Lugia does not in any way, shape, or form. Hmm. It should be a water type. So, yeah. These are. So what I have on the right are the affinities that it will gain for you for having the arcane type and wanting to get the typing. Uh, it's not all their affinity because honestly, if you beat them all day, I had this all of them. Uh, I did everything today. So, wow. I was going to say, this at least look amazing nice. presentation. Sigilith uh, is, uh, that's one thing with Arcane type because it doesn't interact with elements in any way. A Pokemon like Sigilith would literally just gain three three resistances and three weaknesses. Yeah, it's like more rounded in that sense. Delphox, however, becomes a bit scary. Ooh. And I think Delphox is majorly buffed if she if she ever gets an Arcane type set of Psychic because I never thought Delphox made yeah. any sense getting Psychic. Yeah, that's a good point actually. Now that but I like, see it, it's like what, a, Arcane, what else could it get? Suits. Yeah, it's a literal mage, and I yeah. just gave it Arcane. A mage, come on. <laughs> it's I get why it's a Psychic type but because a type like this doesn't exist, but make it happen, and there you go. Yeah. 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 Another, vote, another Pokemon. Is Magius. Oh, obviously. <laughs> it checks out. <laughs> I think I think Koopa would actually make sense to Magic. Okay. So yeah, I think Koopa would have this type, and I think Hyperspace Hole would be our team type. Would make magical sense. Uh, the same goes for uh, Koopa Unbound, but instead becomes Dark Arcane. Right, okay. Bit of dark ghost, Mister Mime, I Ooh. think makes sense to be magical because Mister Mime, it's already creepy. That's one thing, but it's able <laughs> to. <laughs> I think like in one of its Pokedex entries, it's able to uh, make boxes around people. Its hands are magic. I don't think he's yeah. psychic. I think he's magic. But he like creates invisible walls, which is very much a magic type thing. So it's like illusions and all that, which makes more sense with the yeah. magic typing yeah it shows where he gets his party transplant and just to show it off here's what i think an arcane arc is gonna look like it's just I mean, it's just a darker shape Ooh. i like right. that though i got carpal tunnel that drawing so cool. <laughs> Sorry, it hurt man. so much I had, to, I had to stop the so i would i have a form for honage right here oh, I, yeah. I showed you this already and uh, it gains a whopping three times four resistances, gaining our gain as a type, and as a ghost. No longer big to ghost, it's four times resistance to ghost now. It's still immune to poison, I thought I should point that out, because I think this is insane. But gaining poison immunity is still dumb. <laughs> Fair enough. And, uh, yeah. 
So here I have uh Ooh. one one line. I have one line of arcane. Like I actually have actually have two different Pokemon. This is Switch. <laughs> it is a water. It is a uh, water squid. As, as you can see, it's it looks like a witch's hat. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I really like that. This Pokemon too. Yeah, it's it's really adorable. I actually forgot entirely what this was based off of. It'll come back to me later. Uh, I do believe it was a vampire squid. It'll make more sense oh. when we get to the next Pokemon. But these are oh, all of its affinities. Don't wear it unless you own it because its mouth is where the bottom is. Shoot. Huh. And its evolution is Lakomaru. Cool. But that would be a cool thing if you could like wear the squish on your hat as it walked around in the other world. Or like even if they just had hats based off of Squitch that you could just wear and it's like a regular hat that looks like that. That'd, That'd be a fun like the cosmetic thing. item. Yeah, like a cosmetic you can buy in the in the shop, like a Yeah. Yeah. Or like clothing items? Yeah yeah yeah. You can do the same for Lakamara right here. Its uh, head looks a lot like a witch's head now. Oh, and it's, it's definitely like based on hair. the hair. Yeah. Uh, this is still the tentacles. That's, the hair, the hair does, those are the tentacles, yeah, and the hair does work out. Wow. And, that's and that's actually how, uh, what we would normally get from a vampire squid. It just, it just ended up being a happy little accident. <laughs> yeah. So, is the, it's Lock Amari, but is the lock, like, an intentional pun on, like, warlocks and locks of yes. hair? Because that's yeah, what it's, I'm seeing, it's, it's, and it's really cool. It's, it's a pun on the warlock and calamari. <laughs> Oh yeah, but the, the the whole hair motif just it literally I never noticed it until right now. Wait, really? But it, yeah, I I not it has not occurred to me, not once. Even the like the was, little like shadow there, like the the yellow bit, kind of looks like a a head, like a faceless head. Uh, it's massive beak, I guess. But oh yeah, the beak. Yeah. I was so focused on having a vampire square the Pokemon, it never dawned on me. <laughs> It, look, it looks fantastic. It could have so, it's all like... of its affinities. Oh, what were you saying? I was gonna say like it, in its lore, it could be like um, it like rests on like different Pokemon's head and like sucks the the life out of them, like a vampire. Out of them. Oh, actually, or even like uses uh, its appearance to kind of scare them away. Give me a second because uh, I have a I have a little project in Pokemon Essentials and I have a PDS file where you have to put in the Pokemon stats and one of them includes their Pokedex entries. I do believe I have some for them. Uh, let me go ahead and check that out. And let me say, uh, it's not familiar half uh, No, I actually doesn't. Okay, I have an answer either. That's sad. <laughs> I have one for the next Pokemon, but nothing for switching. Like I think about that. Though. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So uh, I actually think I think Squitch suction cups as an ability. Yeah, actually, <laughs> really works. Squitch. It has suction cups and sticky hold as abilities. I, I kind of forgot to write its name back. Neo Phantom said in the in the chat that Loco is Spanish for crazy. I forgot where we we talked about that. I think I'm, I'm the lock, yeah, local, oh. local, local right. is kind of Oh yeah, Lock and Murray, So it's it has that sound to it, like the crazy, which yeah, totally yeah, fits yeah. with the witch vibes, since witches are often seen as like crazy old women. Yeah, yeah, true. Doing potions and stuff in the swamp. Okay, so this is Parchway. He is a spell book, a living spell book. Yes, his eyes and mouth are made of letters. It's <laughs> the best. Ah. I like that. Right, literally a living spell book. That's right. I love everything about this. Yeah, it has a single magic hand to open up the inside of itself and uh, use spells. So, uh, Pokedex entry reads, uh, Constantly using moves, this Pokemon practices its moves on various objects and Pokemon. It is known to hit its friends with weak moves by accident. Because it's still very, it's still very. <laughs> but, uh... If I ever see a Pokemon like this in an actual game, it's going to be like my second favorite. <laughs> Reminds me of the oh shoot, what's it called? The Monster Manual from Harry Potter. Like the the idea of living books in Pokemon is just a cool I, thing. I, I just think living books would be fantastic. Can you imagine a trainer that is like 
and our and our king type gym leader that's just constantly holding a punch plate in his hand. Yes. Oh, and he's just like, like oh, they have no idea. Oh, no. And it's like he's okay, but seriously. Um... Oh no, you go, you go, Spar. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, but like, imagine a gym for the arcane type that's just a giant library, right? Because it's like wizard library or something, and then you would just be walking yep. through it, and one of these would hop off the shelf, yes. having pretended to be a book I or just something. Think I, I just think like some gyms could like explore the idea of what a Pokemon gym could be by like maybe you have no idea there's a gym in the area, it's the library, you just don't know it yet. Instead oh, of a part straight yeah. attacks you. Yeah. A hidden gym. I think, I think that's like half of the reason why i like gen 7 a little bit because they didn't have gyms so they had to improvise so i think i have a good idea but i'll talk about it at another time because that's nothing to do with our game type also, but uh yeah that's all the pokemon that i listed right now if there's any more pokemon you could think of that could be our game type i'm all it is because i haven't searched very far oh i'll um i've got some that i've written down but i want to touch back on the point <laughs> it was um Spyro said that he reminded him of, of harry potter with like the the alive books awesome. and i was gonna say before I like, that. the um the hat pokemon reminds me of the um the talking hat from harry potter the sorting hat yeah 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 the only reason why i remember anything from harry potter is because my mom's obsessed with it <laughs> i've only seen <laughs> <it> <laughs> that. Joke. that's all of the all of the pokemon that i've listed here i uh, mentioned that too okay so i've listed everything here if you want to go ahead and Save this for later for an idea or something. Go ahead, but <laughs> over here I have some moves I missed it out. Okay, that wait, I think would be pretty useful. Before we go on to the moves, we could um go back to the types. Like I'm curious why you chose specific types to be weak or strong against arcane. Uh well, I, well honestly the entire reason why I put fairy weak to it is because fairy is too strong. There's like no other reason why honestly. Right. Be okay. honest with you. Very too strong. Uh, psychic. I actually forgot what I put psychic there for. Yeah, that's a shame. I forgot why I put psychic there, but there was a reason. It just, it's just not coming to me. But for ghost, I think it's sometimes a bit of exorcism. Oh, okay. I think that's what I put for ghost. Well, that makes sense. For... Damn, I really did forget what happened with psychic. But. For a dragon, uh, I've noticed that most of the time, I think mostly in D&D, dragons are mainly immune to magic. It wasn't golden, I forgot, but... The dragons are mostly seen as the magical beings themselves. So they have right. such a good control over magic that you can't be enough for them, let's be honest with you. Yeah, that makes sense. And rock and ground... I think I just put like magic can't do much to the elements, and like the most natural element is the dirt itself. So rock and ground was just magic the easiest. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You got you got Harry being weak to Harry being weak to arcane makes sense to me because like if you're thinking about wizards or whatever, they'd often kind of trap or make deals with the fairies and pixies of the forest or whatever. Uh, and it, in my head, it just kind of seems logical that the arcane type would be able to be stronger than the fairy and like yeah. kind of know how to deal with them because of their proximity in like fairies being kind of magical the arcane type would know how to exploit that weakness or whatever yeah so that definitely for, seems appropriate for some of arcane's weaknesses um po poison i put in for two reasons one i think i think the fact that poison only hits two types of weaknesses one of them being the newest one is insanity so I think making get making this with the poison will be will be useful to poison, but also I actually you think it is possible to uh, corrupt magic itself with some sort of positive oh, influence. Yeah. And steel I steel is like sort of like fantasy versus machinery. Oh, okay. I, like, I like it's that. almost it's almost like a fantasy versus reality. Yeah. And yeah. and with steel we have machinery. It sounded a lot better in my head. It's really unconvincing, but <laughs> there was no reason for it. And Dragon, you already know why. Right, yeah. And in yeah. case you're wondering with Shadows there, if you ever put if you ever decide to put uh Shadow Pokemon in your game, you have to put this on every type. Oh, okay. That's why it's there. Where, where yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That pretty much wraps up these slides. 
Great job. Anything else? Applause. Anything else you want to learn about uh, some of these other Pokemon here, or you can kind of move on to the Titan Um, I had some stuff written down for possible magic Pokemon that I thought. Um, what was yours? So, uh, real quick, Neo Phantom was talking about how Dark could be weak to it, uh, to Arcane. Oh, yeah. I feel like it could almost be the other way around, because Dark starts being like shadows and evil. I feel like being able to corrupt magic or something would seem logical. You're right, but the thing is, the reason why I didn't make Arcane weak to magic is because Arcane itself isn't inherently good or evil. It's entirely dependent right. on who you use. On the user, yeah. So That's true. a dark arcane type, a dark arcane type, their magic is a lot more evil than a than a fairy arcane type. I'll guess in mind. Yeah, almost in a. Uh, it, it, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, yeah, dark, yeah, dark and um, magic can be like one and the same almost. Maybe it could be dark just, magic and light magic. Just magic at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. I do believe it was time to talk about the bubble. I have to get the boy out. This is Apprentice. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he's the start of a line of uh, card based Pokemon. I have not cut the paper at all. He's the first one of those sprites that I've actually managed to finish by myself, which I will almost never do. This but I, I like the shiny because it's a diamond card. Oh, nice. Oh, that's actually cool. Yeah. This, Change suits. This one could potentially be a, a pure arcane type. That is, this is what I, I made this so I could show, like, this is the idea I get for a pure arcane type. Right, okay. This is what I've drawn specifically to give the arcane type its monotype representative. If this is a apprentice. He is an apprentice mage based off of the a uh, single ace card for both the spade and the diamond. Hmm. Uh, Neo Phantom mentioned oh, yeah. Neo Phantom in the chat mentioned that unknown would be a great arcane oh, pure oh, arcane oh. type. Sorry, I actually sorry. really agree yeah, with what? that. It's like runes because runes and glyphs and everything are so common in magical anything. Well, you said you had other Pokemon. Yeah. The arcane type. I'll try and um, share my screen. I don't have any original ideas like you, but um, I do have just like some we can discuss to see if they'll be good um, magic type Pokemon candidates. Right again, I can see it. Oh, actually, I have some. I actually have some good rebuttals with some of these. We have them. Okay, sweet. Oh, you can see them all. So dang it! <laughs> I thought it, I thought it was gonna be like. I make I. I was. I'm not. I'm just not gonna pay attention to top okay, tap. I care about what's in front of me right now, and I see the. I see the big pop. Okay, sweet. <laughs> All right. So, so nine tails. I think the reason that I thought this one could potentially be is just because it's like one of the most like mis mystical Pokemon that isn't like already fairy or already psychic. Um, it's just pure fire, and um, it says somewhere in here. Uh, it has the ability to curse those who mistreat it, and has energy within its nine tails that has like mystical power so i thought like that in a sense could make a for a good magic type if that makes yeah. sense i under i understand i actually contemplated it for uh, a little bit when i was making this list but then it dawned on me nine tails is based off of the kitsune which is a japanese yokai it would make a lot more sense if it was fire ghost and i still think that's a massive missed opportunity huh that it's not a fire ghost type, which is a shame, because that is literally, it's Pokedex entry, supposed to resemble that of the Kitsune Yokai, which, why isn't it a ghost type? <laughs> Anyone like to explain to you why it's not a ghost type? Maybe, oh, yes. maybe they just wanted more pure fire types in the, in the first gen, that's probably why. If they introduced it now, it'd probably be fire uh, ghost. Definitely a, a contender for our team, but if I if I wanted to give it a second type, it would win hundred percent the ghost. Yeah, that's fair. And the next one, I'm not really confident on this one, but Mushana. I know I googled like what people think would be magic type, and I think that um some people said Mushana. I I kind of see it. It's like the the dream eater, but I think that kind of works for psychic. 
it, it, everything about Musharna was definitely made with psychic in mind. So I do think Musharna is best done as a psychic type. Could you put Arcane in it? Maybe. You'd have to explain it well enough. I'm just not good enough to explain how Musharna could be an Arcane type. Yeah. I don't think dreams are inherently magical, but dreams are 100% tied to magic. You can absolutely make Mushana an arcane type. I'm just not that guy. Yeah, the offensive makes a good point here. He says that um, dreams would definitely be psychic because it's literally the mind. Yeah, it's just going. It's coming from. Mind. It's coming from the mind. So that yeah, that makes yeah, but, much more sense as psychic. People do have a belief that dreams themselves are magical. Hell, in certain games, they dreams themselves are pure magic. But if we're talking, if we're being realistic here, Mushana makes a lot of sense being a pure magic type, and I think it's a really cool one. Yeah. All right, next I've got Jirachi. I think that this one is the most magical psychic type probably in the game. I would say it's the most pure Pokemon. So if we're gonna go with like the the idea of goodness, it actually probably should be fairy type now that I think about it. But um, I just know it has like a lot of elements of wish and um, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> It'll play into your favorite as you can do with the comments. But wish. As I think if, I think the problem with uh, Jirachi is that it suffers from having only two typings. Because you could really make it all three. That's how good Jirachi is, <laughs> yeah. representing all three though. I don't really understand where this deal comes from. I, I think it, it might be somewhere in the Pokedex. I really don't know where this deal comes from. Why is Jirachi <laughs> Yeah, it's why is it Oh, I think it's... Maybe something to do with shooting stars. Oh yeah, shooting, shooting stars. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's definitely an interesting case for an arcane type. Uh, it definitely doesn't make sense for psychic when you really think about it, but it was made before fairy came out. They could have easily made a fairy type, but it was mythical, so I guess we didn't care. Yeah. But yeah, I do think it, make, it could be either steel fairy or steel arcane. I think you can make an argument for both cases. All right, next. Um kind of into like the idea of it being arcane type um but i think ghost and dark works really well okay this next one i feel pretty confident on hatchroom i think could be a pure arcane absolutely i think it'll become pure arcane to arcane fairly later oh yeah it's it's a witch yeah exactly it's a witch uh, need i say more next one i have is stantler um Render. yeah it's just like i saw someone else say it could be magic type or arcane type um maybe weird d would work better but i just know that it can do uh yeah there you go it could it could definitely learn some moves right as as a stantler it could have the moves but not the type but as weird deer it could easily be arcane arcane normal his outlaws definitely have that sort of arcane like design to them just in the nature i, I could certainly see those channeling magic energy yeah next one i have i'm kind of not really confident on but zatu i just thought it would be cool as arcane type but i know that they can see into the future and the past um and they are very intelligent but i think that's more like psychic if anything. it is definitely psychic oriented i thought of, uh, zatu is another pokemon i was looking at but thinking thinking about it is it's uh most of its uh personality is seeing into the future silently and never being able to tell anyone but seeing into the future and it's it's definitely a psychic flying type the last one i have is aromatis and this one's like a bit of a stretch but i was thinking like aromatis is probably the most medieval pokemon we have like um it's based on the plague doctor and they often Overnight. they try and do like um like weird kind of medicine to heal people so and like back in the time you know with medieval stuff that's often synonymous with like magic um so i think it could definitely be a, a good fit there are doctors bad ones but doctors <laughs> and i do like the idea of plague doctor but i feel like while well, they gave the plague doctor aesthetic to aromatis I feel like they played too far into uh, both like the can like the can can girls with how they show their legs and uh, fragrances. 
I, it kind of loses all bit of that um, Plague Doctor aesthetic. That's just me. But I also really don't think Plague Doctors are magic. <laughs> They're barely even psychic and, barely, and even less so fairy. I think it's just aromatase. I think aromatase is like a tiny bit of a poor design. In case you want to talk about a Plague Doctor, everything else it does, it does pretty well. And uh, when you said aromatase is the closest that we have to uh, medieval, uh, I just heard Covernight in the background say, am I a joke to you? Cobra. Oh, yeah. Wait, we have other options for medieval. Yeah, Corviknight, oh, Aegis Slash. Yeah. yeah, he's brand new. If you didn't play Gen 8, two things. One, I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, but two, uh, that would explain why you don't remember him. I sometimes forget about him. <laughs> I just remember him as... I just remember him as Beefy Scarny. Gunner. Yeah, true. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't know what Aromatisse is. Like, her deal is because... I. I get why it's a fairy for most of the things that they've done for it. I just don't know why they gave it a Plague Doctor aesthetic. I think um, I think the reason is Everyone. because back in the day, Plague Doctors used to think that like smells could um, heal you from disease. They would often put in the yeah, Plague Doctor they nose, put, they put like flowers and stuff. Yeah, they put fragrances. They put fragrances inside their nose to keep them away from plagues, which that part does make sense. But like, that's it. <laughs> So, have we gone over all the Pokemon that we wanted to discuss? I think we've gone over all yeah, the Pokemon. Um, didn't you... You had, like, moves? Yes, moves. I have a list of moves. Okay, we'll, we'll uh, go to that now. Uh, so, moves uh, up here are every single um, original move. I've, I've managed to make eight of them. Uh, three of them are signature moves, sadly, but uh, I can think of others later. Uh, the one at the bottom is a list of moves I think could be arcane type, due to how they're made. You know how they're made. I'll get to those after, but uh, I'm gonna start off with some of the other moves that I've created here. The first one's Wake Up Magic, and uh, as Neo Fights him said, yes, it's the Yu-Gi-Oh reference. <laughs> but uh, uh, maybe because the wording is too good not to use. This a special attack version of Power Punch. I think would be a cool idea. Fun fact. This is actually a psychic type before I even thought of the arcane type. Really makes you wonder. The your exact your standard first ever magic spell you ever learn in your life in D and D. What is that? It's magic missile. <laughs> it's the OG. You can't forget magic missile. I've never played D and D. Uh, well, magic missile is the first spell you learn, and even if you don't, you've probably heard someone say magic missile at some point in time in pop culture. Perhaps. Because it's funny. <laughs> Twisted card, this is the move that I want to get for Jack Ace, since, oh, yeah. he is a, since he is a high-rolling gambler that, use, that uses cards for his attacks. You would throw a playing card that lowers a random stat. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's the luck of the draw, baby. I like that. I like um the idea of um it being kind of like a trickster and having like moves that can really I know what, to the I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Do I have a dead hand or a royal flush? <laughs> so we won't really know until I toss this card. The yes. question is, you lucky punk? Alright, so Mystic Wave. Basically, yeah. uh you might have you might have seen you might have seen many uh mages in a uh, uh media make make like this mag this wave, powerful wave of magic just crushing to the floor and hitting a massive crowd. This is basically that wave where they just unleash a wave around their body to try to like push push oh, okay. back. It's looking it's basically an AoE. It's just an AoE. So it hits all Pokemon that includes your partner. So right, okay. last move, Omni Beam, this is just a basic your basic high level attack for the magic type. And I had a cool idea. <laughs> Actually um I have my moves list right here. It's a 95 base power arcane special attack. I was wondering if I should make it 100, but I said it 95, so I think that's just too much because it's perfectly accurate. <laughs> it has, well, until you know what accuracy. It has 5 PP, and the idea was it fires a beam through a portal, then summons multiple portal exits around its target, and like the beam splits into that many portals and just attacks them with it. I think that just be a an awesome idea for an attack. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like, like, this is the perfect like what like all the move ideas you've 
you've got here just like illustrates how perfect like um arcane could work like none of these moves here i would say are psychic none of them are fairy so it definitely shows like how arcane and magic type would work so for the list of other moves that i yeah. think could be arcane try attack is the number one move that i think could be 100 percent arcane yeah okay it's literally shooting three different types of three different types of elements at you so it being a normal type doesn't really make much sense but I think it's easy to make a replacement for normal type special moves. And I don't mean Echo Voice. Because, <laughs> you know, it's going to be hard to get Echo Voice to Porygon. <laughs> uh, of course. As, as, as funny as it would be, uh, I think it would be a better idea. You can keep Tri Attack, just give him a, a special normal step. Well, in my video, nice. I said I Porygon could be Sound Type. So maybe it could. Yeah. But no, well, maybe it could. Agree with that. I, just give it a really crudely drawn, like, polygon mouth, and we'll, we'll see it happen. <laughs> cool. I mean, like, Porygon Z's messed up already. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it can make noises. It's like, it's, it uses Echo Voice, it's just Rick Astley's never gonna give you up. <laughs> that, that would hurt my ears a lot. What? That's the best I song like, ever. I, uh, sure. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> it's the greatest song uh, of all time. Swift is completely useless. That we song don't. heals you. Okay, go on. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Sw Swift is completely useless, and we know this. If you give it the arcane type, it's a whole lot less useless. Because it's a perfectly accurate arcane type move. It has affinities. It can hit things. for weakness. So, I feel like Swift would be much better. As a move. Trump card. It's entirely because I made j a Jack Ace and no one believes <laughs> But... I did actually buff Trump Card's damage to not be useless. Um, I think its base damage is 60, and I think it goes all the way up to 200. And I think that would make Trump Card an interesting move. Not the yeah. best, but interesting one. Yeah, and most of, these are, or most of these are support moves, like Heal Bell, Lucky Champ, Minimize, right. Pain Split, Recover, Safeguard, all that, all that good stuff. Simple Beam, Barrier, Conquer, Tower, Guard Split, Guard Swap, Heal Block, Heal Pulse, Healing Wish. You can make an argument for Healing Wish. Yeah. In Prison, Ice Cream Reflect, Magic Coat, Magic Room, Trick Room, Wonder Room, room Upper Space Hole, and, and uh, Light of Ruin. Now, I specifically have Light of Ruin here because I think you could easily make it an incredibly high tier, high risk, high reward move for our King Okay. You can change the wording a little bit because it mentions having uh, an eternal flower. But if we just forget Aziz Flora exists and you put this in with the arcane tag on it, you could easily give this to Del Fox and she could lose half of her HP. The Phantom just said or, recover kind of is like pumping up your natural regeneration, which ties to life. So I see it more as a normal fairy, which makes sense. I just, I just find it hard to believe that uh, pumping up your natural regeneration is actually the simplest thinking about it too hard. Yeah, heal pulse, depending on the context. I guess you're right. It would work for fairy types a lot, but despite how, despite how inherently good heal pulse is, I do believe heal pulse is just magical enough to be arcane type. Healing wish, I definitely believe. The more I look at it, the more I think you could probably make this a fairy type move. Oh, Neo Phantom says a new move that switches your Pokemon for another, but causes an illusion to make it look like another would be very fun. Kind of like, um, is that what Zoroark does? Yeah, Zoroark's ability. Alright, I'll, I'll try yeah. it. I think, we're, I think we mostly have wrapped up everything. Pretty much, unless you have any ideas for other moves. I didn't have any ideas. I, I couldn't really think of any. No. If there is one more thing I'd like to ask, if, like... Since we kind of went over everything move and Pokemon related, is there any, like, ideas for a brand new Pokemon you think could be put to the table? Um, honestly, no. <laughs> like, I've, like, other types I can kind of think of new Pokemon ideas, but for Arcane and Magic, like, I didn't really have many ideas. Only one I can really think of, I had an idea for a Mega Vespaquin for a long time now. Mm. And for a Mega Vespaquin... Uh, I think it would be pretty cool if it had a. Uh, it, it would have its own ma massive magic scepter. In its other hand, 
would be a massive shield made of combi. Because why not, right? So I always wanted to have the massive combi shield for a, for a Vesper Quinn. I think a cool idea would be that way. And I think it could indeed become our king type in a mega form if it wanted to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can think of, I can attempt to think of other types of arcane Pokemon. There's definitely a bunch of mythological creatures I can, I can look up to give an idea. Neo Phantom suggested, uh, like Galactory a and Horcruxes. I'm, I wasn't uh, familiar right. with these, so I had to Google them, but. Uh, I know what a Phylactery is. It's definitely a really interesting idea for a Pokemon. What would, be, what would be pretty cool is, imagine if we, there was a Phylactery Pokemon and it had a cool interaction with Grimmsnarl. I think that'd be a pretty a cool idea. Yeah. That would be interesting. Or Lakamari can make use of it since he's a Warlock. <laughs> it would be pretty awesome. I'll take a look into Phylacteries and what I can do with it. I did want to make a Gemstone Pokemon that was some, something like Minior. And, each, and it would have a bunch of different colors. And like the shiniest, the shiny form would be completely clear, which is like the Hope Diamond. So the the entire idea for that Pokemon, I don't know if it would be Arcane type. But it was a cool idea. Basically, yeah, it was a jewelry Pokemon, but each type of jewelry was entire was like tied to like actual jewelry that people were assume were cursed, like the Hope Diamond. Yeah. Okay. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea because I oh. think. Some idea I've done before, I do believe so. Yeah, they did something like that in uh, Persona 5. And oh, actually, I a lot of my ideas. Yeah, I can't and remember when that. Game a lot of the ideas I wanted to make for a game come from Persona 5, so uh, I'm not surprised that that also came from it. As cool as that game is, this one, I just want to make a cool book about gaming for Persona 5. But it's a really cool place to pull from. <laughs> well, thanks for, uh, thanks for letting me have this time. Yeah, no worries. Really fun. Yeah, thanks for giving that presentation. That was awesome. Um, yeah, timely. Oh, Neo Phantom just said, "Be on the classic magic items, mirrors, carpets, portals." Yeah, true. Yeah, they could definitely become actual items, but I don't think we want to put too much in it. I mean, the magic book is good enough. Can I even top that? <laughs> well, I mean, nowadays, like Pokemon, or like Pokemon previously, has like always incorporated like the like um inanimate object into the design so i think a mirror one actually could be really really cool and maybe carpet as well actually, actually um i've mentioned yokai watch before but they actually do have a mirror yokai do they? it was mirapo yeah his name is mirapo and he actually is incredibly important to the game because mirapo are actually all over the game and they actually can teleport you to other mirapo <laughs> by going through the mirror so it makes for a wonderful idea for a pokemon yeah where uh each and every single one of them are interconnected and like so imagine there's this entire area with like an arcane type gym right yeah like most of like most of the people in the area are like, like scholars, maze. and they use they use the mirror pokemon to get around uh important areas oh okay so like how in the new game cyclazar most people in the world have them well most people in that area would have like that I'm going to say Mirapo, for lack of a better word, inside their home for convenience. Mm. Um, it does have a dark counterpart, which is Miracle. Because the Yokai Watch has recolors, but they're not that bad. Um, I think Miracle, I think it shows you like a dark future or something like that. I think it's Mirror is a portal to like a darker nether realm or something like that. But it's, it's a really nice concept. Yeah. Familiars are cool. I was thinking of making a Carbuncle, but like, I immediately stopped thinking about it because when I think Carbuncle as a Pokemon, Espeon exists already. <laughs> so, there's not much I can do with that. Cool. Um, I want to make like, after this video, after when I edit this video, I want to make some kind of like, um, graphic sheet that like, shows all the, the Pokemon and like, the moves and, and stuff that we've come up with. So that'll be fun. But, um... Thank you, Ghostfish. Thank you, want you, me to send you. Wait, sorry. Would you want me to send you um, oh, yeah, my that, concept? Yeah, that'd be helpful, actually. Yeah, I would. I would send it off to you. Sweet. Um, well, that was a great discussion. Um, thanks, guys, and 
We can end it there. All right.